ugly. <laughs> here with Lock Haven coach Scott Moore. You guys took third place here this year's EWLs. Can you tell me a little bit about your team's performance? You had, looked like a lot of guys competing hard. Yeah. What's your assessment? Um, you come in here, we got three automatics coming into the tournament. Those guys all match their seeds or their bids. So, you know, at this point, taking three to the national tournament. Uh, a lot of young guys in the lineup. As you see, we had five freshmen. Yeah. You know, guys wrestled hard. Um, I think seven or eight guys in the top four. Uh, best performance we've had as a coach at Lock Haven. And just an overall team effort. With younger guys, you never know how they're going to respond to a loss. Um, obviously getting a champion, again, for the second year in a row, outstanding wrestler, Ronnie Perry. Yeah. Um, having having three or four guys in the finals battling Adam Mackey with a close loss at 174. So, you know, proud of the team. I really thought we came to wrestle today. Put ourselves in a situation to get, you know, a lot of guys in a national tournament. Still waiting on, uh, you know, Kyle Shoup and Tristan Sponsell, I think have a great shot at getting to nationals uh, through the at-large process. Uh, so we'll wait to see on Wednesday. But, you know, Bald Eagles are getting better. Uh, guys are fighting, guys are having fun. Look forward to having those guys out at nationals and, and bringing home some All-American plaques. We watched you for a week as a coach in practice. What kind of program will we see in the practice room? Well, we're pretty. You know, once we get started, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. Uh, but we're as coaches, we try to motivate our guys and, and have an open, you know, experience and just a lot of dialogue, a lot of communication. Um, you want our guys smiling but working hard. You know, I think that's the key to college wrestling. Is guys are, you know, they're pushed, pushed, pushed all the time, and it's 365 days a year. But you got to be able to enjoy the sport. So our guys, our coaching staff, we kind of have a wide um, variety of coaches with Coach Carr, Coach Thompson, Coach White, a yeah. um, couple other guys. So we just have a lot of guys to pick people up in the room, uh, you know, as mentors to really help them technically. We do a lot of individuals. You'd see our, you know, guys in the room getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, coaches are always working to develop our guys, not only on the mat, but off the mat. So just a great place to be, you know, good attitudes, hard working. Uh, we try to have fun and let these guys relax and enjoy themselves a little bit. So I think that's kind of the, the, the formula you need to have to run a state school program like Lock Even. Now, most coaches like a similar kid, hard working, good grades, all American kid. But why are kids picking? I know you told me some of the stuff. Is there other reasons why kids are picking you? You're building a program right now, getting better and better. Why are they picking you? It's it's really all network. I mean, you if you work hard, you get out, you meet a lot of kids, you recruit a lot of kids. Um, not all those kids stay where they you know they go the first time. Yeah. Uh, but it's also about relationships. I mean, you have kids that uh, you get the right kids, and they have friends. That, that respect them. They have parents, family, coaches that respect them. So you just build those relationships and you start to build sort of that uh, that bond with that area. You know, we get a lot of guys from District 3. Yeah. Um, we get we recruit guys from that area that they're good on top. They understand Lock Haven. They come in, they're comfortable with, uh, you know, that PA style of wrestling. Yeah. So that's really a kind of, uh, our niche at Lock Haven is finding that area. We have a lot of Solanco guys, you know. Right. But we just find that niche, build the relationships, keep a positive relationship with those guys and keep everything in perspective and, and continue to build and uh, you know obviously getting some big transfers in, getting young guys that are overachieving guys that took fourth or sixth in a state are now national qualifiers as freshmen so that's pretty awesome that huh it's 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 great uh, for them and it's great for the freshmen coming in the guys who are recruiting to show them hey you can be in the lineup you can start right away and you can make a difference in the program now you've been how old when you started wrestling third grade third so eight ish yeah yep. wrestled highly successful career how do you keep your competitive fire stoked as a coach I mean really it's it's uh, it comes down to just seeing the guys on the team develop and mature I mean that's really as a coach you want to win uh, but you want to get the most out of your student athletes I think the older you get the longer you coach you start to realize it's really not about um, you anymore it's about the kids you know it's about what can we do to make them better and obviously you have ups and downs and you have you have tough times if your program's struggling or you know there's always things that are going to set you back but I think as you grow as a coach your program's going to grow and your athletes are going to respect you and the other coaches and, and they're going to work for you and they're going to compete and um, you know going to see effort like you saw here today guys just all 10 guys battling hard nobody giving up everybody wrestling to the end of the, each match and giving themselves the best chance to uh, you know, not only finish the season strong, whether they're going to nationals or put themselves in a, in a spot to compete at the, the big show in uh, St. Louis in a couple weeks. Coach, thanks for the time and good luck in St. Louis. Thank you.